whole place is coming down. Hand over the sample. It'll be all over soon. You don't know what you're up against. I have a pretty damn good idea. Claire, get out. Get out now! Trust me. All right, guys. Oh. What's up? Welcome to the Hump Day Show. What's up, man? What's up? Uh, we're doing a little bit different this week. Uh, we couldn't get everybody in the same room. JP has some issues, but you know, we we work it out. We do. Sorry about that, y'all. That's two weeks I've missed. I, I promise I'm not gonna miss a third one. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make shit I'm gonna make shit work, y'all. I just want the audience to know that there's some people that work hard for them, and there's some people that don't. Actually, you're pointing the wrong direction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so that's JP, Los, and I'm um, Jerks. Elias, a.k.a. JRX4X on Twitter. Links are 101. What's up, Public y'all? Enemy 59 All on Twitter. Arigato. Twitch, if you have a Twitch, whatever. Anyway, so we're here to talk about Resident Evil 2. Uh, yes. So the remake finally came out, and we're finally going to get into it. We've been wanting to get into it, but we've also been pretty busy in playing the game as well. Yes. Uh, so we wanted to start off with what now is for sure canon and what how the story is going to be developing from this point on. And that's going to be Claire A and Leon B are the canons. That, that's the storyline. That's how it goes. So did you guys ever uh, get a chance to play Claire A at all? I, I have yet to play Claire A. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. still finishing Claire B. Um, mm -hmm. But as far as canon, I guess you can tell they're going a different direction as far as they're probably going to remake three the same way. Um, mm -hmm. But maybe they might move from four and five and definitely six. So I'm looking for. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they just cut that out, to be honest. I don't know how they're going to cut it out. I think they're going to have to. Uh, well, we'll see. And we'll it's crazy, see. too, because that game is one of the most high selling, like, Resident Evil games up until yeah. like Resident Evil 2 Remake. <laughs> Actually, Resident Evil 5 is still number one, but... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, Leon uh, Leon B. I always thought it, Leon A was the canon, but no, Leon B is. And, like, when you guys play Claire A, Claire A is is difficult. I think it's a little bit more difficult than than Leon's in a, it, it, because of, like, the beginning gun, basically. The beginning gun she gets, it's a complete trash. It's like this revolver that, like, you have to load one by one. And, I mean, of course you can find the parts to upgrade it, but, oh, man, it's such a pain in the beginning. And, like, Leon B, it's it's actually a little bit more fun. It's a little bit shorter, of course, because it's the B scenario, but it, it also gives you the true ending at the end. Well, um, I will say this. I kind of cheated a bit. Oh my god! I just used a Chris Redfield gun. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah but, uh, hey, when you fully upgrade Leon's uh, guns, man, that's a, it's a whack gun. It's a whack gun. What? Yeah, the Matilda? Like nah. Yeah, the Matilda, Matilda is yeah. badass. You fully upgrade it. It's like a <laughs> well, semi-auto. Going back to it's pretty bad. Actually, going... yeah, I, I do like this Matilda once it's upgraded. Uh, because there's no recoil and you just pop it off like boom, 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 boom. Like, yeah, it's, it's good. Like, it's good against the dogs. It's satisfying. And because those dogs, man, they but, move fast and they, they just use a shotgun. Any hit stuns. One hit or quitter with the shotgun, man. No, one but, hit or quitter. But, yeah, but yeah, by the time you do upgrade Matilda, all your other guns are fucking, you got all the other guns already. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like, well, do I want to use this gun that, you know, there's a chance I might not but, put him down? Let, or do let I want to use this gun that I'm for sure going to put let, him Let's down just go back. Let's go back to what Claire started off, how hard it could be. Mm -hmm. The reason I feel like it's not that hard, and like I said, I'm cheating. I just go and with GameStop, since I pre-ordered, I got the Claire, uh, the, the Prince out. Redfield. GameStop I, RIP as well. Yeah, <laughs> uh, for real, I got that last, last one, you know what I'm saying? No, but you get the Chris Redfield handgun, which mm -hmm. is... I think the second best handgun in the game, mm -hmm. my personal opinion. And Wesker's, man. Yeah, Wesker's the best, is the best one. Wesker's, Wesker's got one. that ah, that power. Yeah. And I've even I've even got so a couple, I wouldn't say too many, but I've for sure gotten at least two random headshots from Wesker's gun. <laughs> like for sure. I took people's head like I did not waste any bullets. It was yeah. one and boom, done. <laughs> That's a good thing about West Coast, you know, Yeah, you but it, it, if it's hard, and you were mentioning, Leas, that uh, Mr. X does not does not appear. 
But, he does appear in Claire A, but he's not as prominent as he is in Leon A. Like mm. Leon A, you, you're getting chased. He's all for over a bit, the fucking place. And then yeah, you see, you, you meet Ada, and then Ada like takes him down for a bit, but he still comes back. But yeah. in, in Claire A, when you start off Claire A, you're basically it's the same storyline. It's the same like kind of like a, a way it flows. Uh, of course, you in the beginning you you meet Marvin, uh, the the chief in, uh, who's who was I guess in charge of the uh, yeah American he knows City Claire Police Department. Yeah, who who like he helps her of course. And unfortunately, yeah, he dies, but that's because he was bitten. But it's pretty cool, though. He t actually tells her, too, like, hey, don't make my mistake. You know, if you see one of them, you take them out, you know, no matter who it is. And mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, yeah. as you play the game, yeah, like you see Mr. X pop out whenever, like, uh, it's the same time he pops out whenever, like, he moves the, the helicopter out the way. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit is so cool. And how, like, the yeah. music hits. Uh, yeah. And then, like, they run through, like, they run through the whole story pretty much the same up until up until the first boss up until you fight the first boss which is uh what's his name uh, uh william, uh, burke. william burke. william burke yeah uh what's his name titan uh, g or something like that or i was calling him no something yeah. g yeah, yeah. He, he's it's, a g virus he's, they call him g but yeah g yeah g okay they just call him g yeah yeah um, <laughs> he's a g okay uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah up until that, that point button. is where the stories start to differ like a lot because because when you first fight g uh, in Leon, he he moves like the shelf, and then he comes in like banging. But when you do it with Claire, that's when you meet Sherry, which is a whole different character you don't see with Leon at all. Yeah, of end. course. And, and yeah, that's that's when this starts like to branch off. But I mm -hmm. I think it's a good thing the way they did it. Like I think oh, having man. it for sure be Claire A and then Leon B is a, yeah. a great thing. No, yeah. but I, I as someone who played Leon A, Leon B, and I was totally satisfied with mm -hmm. yeah the story with with how they redid the puzzles, with how they redid the yeah. characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's just all satisfying. Um, to me, it, to me, best Resident Evil game ever. I right agree. Now. Um, I play with I play with Leon because Leon is like an old favorite of mine. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Leon that's why I started with Leon. Like... And, and honestly, the uh, the story mode, like I thought it was similar. Um, everything pretty much followed the story from from the original from the Resident original. Evil. Yeah. Um, it did brown chap. Not a lot of um, story clips. Like I feel like the, the the original one had more story clips than this one. Mm -hmm. um, this you one mean, it was like the cutscenes. Yeah, cut scenes, yeah. Uh, it was only like four cutscenes, like five or six cutscenes with Leon. Like it wasn't much. It was like you go in, you meet Marvin, and then mm -hmm. that's a cutscene. And then you go and you meet Ada, that's a cutscene. And then you know, I walk to the sewers, that's another cutscene. And then like she gets Ada, uh, you go save Ada and she gets hurt, that's a cut. Like it's not it's not a lot, which I thought was very effective, very fluid. Mm -hmm. um, as far as Claire, um, from what I've played, uh, you're right, hers is even hard, even B is harder mm -hmm. because that little P6 shooter, um, <laughs> like it's good mm -hmm. for going fast, but god damn, like it takes forever to reload. No, so but yeah, like in, in in Claire's A scenario, like oh man, it's so it's so good to be honest, especially since like uh like towards the, like after you meet after you fight G for the first time, mm -hmm. um that's when you meet Sherry, and then like she uh and then th that's when the, the the story starts to evolve a little bit different for both of them, um like you know how the whole thing when they go into the the parking garage underground, yeah, and then. That's where you know, uh, you in in Leon's scenario, you meet uh, Ada Wong. You meet Ada Wong, but you also meet another character, the one with the the card key. I forget his name. Yeah, the press. Uh, he's, he's yeah. the, he has the press. Uh -huh. Yeah, he he has the the card to get him out of there. And this in 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 Claire's, you don't meet that person. You meet you just meet uh, the uh Chief, Chief Irons. Chief Irons. Chief mm -hmm. Irons, who you know turns out like. Uh, he's been like if you if you, in Leon's scenario you hear what he did like he's mm -hmm. like uh, helping out Umbrella yeah and he's using like yeah. the, uh, this orphanage which is actually a new place in the remake not in the original to like yeah uh, orphanage uh, wasn't in, in the original mm -hmm. yeah Correct. well in Claire A uh, Sherry gets uh, taken by uh, Chief Irons, by Chief Irons yes. and then and then from there uh, that that's the scenario in Leon that would be Ada saving uh, from from Titan. Yeah, from Ada, uh, Ada Mr. Wong X. Saves yeah, Leon from Mr. X. Uh -huh. And and then from there it, it does ch it branch off again. Uh, Claire doesn't see the the alligator in the sewer in the sewers, which uh, was badass, by the way. I know a lot of people. Yeah. Were, it was I thought it was shorter. Cool. I it was, think, from it was too. I thought it was too short. And I thought it, it should have been longer. Yeah. 
It yeah. should have been a whole <laughs> battle like it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in but, Resident Evil 2, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, but, I like it though. But and then again, yeah. like... um. Also, from the differences from the original game to the new game, uh, even in the beginning, like they they go to the 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 police station like like that. They go quick, but yes. in the original game, you actually have to go to Kindo's uh, gun shop. Yeah, and that's yeah. one thing that I love. No, hey, you do. What are you, you doing? Do, <laughs> you do go to Kindo's gun shop. You do with end Leon up going to Kindo's, but mm -hmm. only in Leon's scenario. That's the only Correct. time you see him. And then you may, you go through it after you uh, make it to the parking garage with Ada, and yeah, you see him, and you actually see his daughter too, who's been bitten. It's actually yeah. like pretty. It's actually pretty cool how they did that. The yeah, honestly, I honestly, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, I'm gonna when say I saw something. Kendall's gun shop, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say something. That scene right there, yeah, with Kendall gun shop owner, that was like very good acting. Yeah, yeah, and I would was, agree with that. And it was sad because yeah. like. You can tell she's transforming and she's not right in the fucking head. Yeah. And he's over here. I don't know. It was crazy. Great performance. Great. Yeah. Performance. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, no. Um, yeah. Just how they remade these characters. Some yes. of them, there are certain parts, voice acting wise, where you're like, okay, whatever. But for yeah. the most part, um, <laughs> I, was, I was actually like that. Hi, Leon. I was, I was Hi, like that Leon. Whenever, yeah, yeah. Whenever they meet each other again outside the, how like, you doing? the, the garden area, he's like, hey, Claire. How's it going, man? <laughs> How's it going, Claire? Well, I'm like, yeah, there's not a zombie here. apocalypse going she, on. She it's okay like, to see you. She was like, no, and you're she, like I'm just here, just chilling with yeah. the zombies in the background. <laughs> no, uh, and then and then there's uh the the you're midway through the mansion. And yeah. He's like, what's going on? Motherfucker, you don't know. You just killed like ten of these fuckers. True, true. You seen true. a liquor? You know, like I, hey, man, it, it's crazy. I. I but you know what? Mm -hmm. There and that, then, oh, the, and, Resident and, Evil Two is not known for its for no, its you're verbal. Right, you're right. It's, it, and you're this right. game, it, it does take that that '90s essence. Yeah. It does give you it better does, voice yeah, acting because it's supposed to be uh, based in the '90s. But and it's like, like, it. like it's it. like boom, boom, let's go, let's go, and you're like fuck. And like the thing is, it, the way it's set up, especially with like killing these zombies, how you mm -hmm. kill them, how long it takes. It's mm -hmm. set up perfectly too. It stresses you out. You're like, fuck. And then when you have Mr. X, oh, bitch ass, yeah. walking around and shit. When you have Mr. X chasing you around, like, the it's whole, a bitch, like, for dude. most of the uh, beginning of the game, man, that shit is, yeah, it's stress inducing. <laughs> and, like, yeah. the worst thing about it is, like, the only way, and guys, I rec I don't recommend you guys do this. The reason I did it was because I kind of knew a little bit. But I would throw a grenade, and, like, when that was getting too fucking annoying, um, just throw a grenade, and it, but it has to land next to him, and it, you get like 30 or a minute. I, actually, I got a minute, and I ran like a motherfucker. I ran. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, once I, the after the initial parts of meeting X, I was just kind of like, yeah, I just got to manage to make get enough space, and then he starts looking, and you get enough time. I didn't have too much of a problem with him. Um, except at the final fight when I'm, you know, against him. That was so he, fucking annoying. And you don't even have to use is. ammo. You don't even have to use ammo. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah, you just gotta wait for the rocket launcher. You just gotta to wait for the down. rocket launcher. You just gotta dodge his bitch uh, ass. Yeah, but uh, no, just, but, you gotta weaken uh -huh. his chest. Like when he opens no, it up, you don't. You gotta... No, you're talking about a G. But when you fight yeah. uh, Mr. X, he, he he doesn't do that. Yeah, he doesn't do that. You just all you need. Ada will throw you the oh, machine. You're right. Okay. Okay. So check this out, guys. Like. I am like this type of dude that I conserve ammo. I, I'm like a little dick. Like I'll hold on to that shit and I won't let go. When I was fighting Mr. X at that, I had like a hundred Magnum rounds. I had like, uh, I think it was like a hundred shotguns. What the shell. fuck? Yes, dude, I had like like a uh, hundred and fifty of 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 uh, gun. Like what I had cheat code are you putting? Bro, through? I would just cause <laughs> what I would 100. do. Yes, bro. What I would do is I only aim for the head. I never aim for the legs, just the head. And it takes five to six shots to get them down, and then I would go over and use my knife. I use my knife like a motherfucker, like I'm a cutlet motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, like um, just to continue the the, the scenarios. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Claire A. Um, so yeah, so you don't really see Mr. X. I mean, you do see him in the beginning, like when he moves their plane, and then once once you move from the from the garage, you, you continue into the game. And man, I, it, it goes in like up until towards the end where you see him again, and like it's so funny though because you see him again and he's like coming after you, you and Sherry. <laughs> 
and then you guys bolted to like this uh, uh elevator. elevator and then as soon as you get to the elevator he goes there he gets there and he's like oh man you're fucked you know he grabs the elevator doors and starts uh starts trying to open them and here comes g out of nowhere and just fucking like slices him in half and then that pretty much ends uh, Mr. X's gameplay for Claire A. For Claire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then from there, you just continue the story. Of course, uh, it's it, it follows if it, it's it's it, it does follow the original pretty well in terms of like okay, you start off in the in the, the police department and then you go to the garage and then you go to the sewers, whatever. Or now you go to the orphanage in Claire's and then you move into the the secret facility uh, underground for. Uh, for uh, Umbrella, which is where you meet Sherry's mom and uh, Dr. Per Burke's uh, uh, wife, uh, Annette, who who at this point is is pretty much the only like one who survived so far down there. Because, I mean, you really don't meet anybody else down there other than her. Mm -hmm. and, and, and she's pretty cool. I mean, she's... I like I like I like the way they did her character in terms of like uh she she's like cold hearted she's a, she's a scientist first she's not a mother first for sure like you de sure. you definitely see that in Claire A she's she's more concerned about what's going on and how to like preserve this information to use it later of like the of the virus and how it's, it's developing and and like towards the end of the game you see that Sherry's starting to move more towards Claire and she's like you know more seeing her more as a mother than her actual mother but yeah, like the fight scenes, the like whenever you fight bosses are pretty fun, especially the one where you have to like uh, take down G like on that platform with the with the container. I thought that was oh, pretty yeah. cool. And of course, once you get to the freaking lab, like you see the freaking Groots there, and those fuckers are one shot kills. Groots. Like I hate those guys. Yeah, no, they no, are no, no. one shot. Yeah. I I don't know why I struggle. I just flamethrow them, motherfuckers. No, yeah, yeah you flamethrow right. them, but like at the same time, you want to be conservative about your ammo. No, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, you flamethrow them, and when then when you fall, you just tap it. Oh and no, yeah, just, I know that. And yeah. he just does two, and then like once they start doing this. And then, like, they first into flames. It's all no, I think they only caught me like twice. One in, inside <laughs> one of the hallways yeah. that I thought I had slain thrower. Uh, he was distracted enough and he still yeah. caught me. And then another one in the in the fucking uh, greenhouse. Oh, he yeah, yeah, that there. fucking greenhouse. <laughs> Not put on. And, and, yeah, man, I mean, story wise, the game, it, it does a service to Resident Evil 2, the original. They sure and does. It, and it also modernizes it. Oh, heck yeah. Um, uh, game, uh, let's talk about gameplay and the uh, mm -hmm. graphics. Well, uh, what, what, yeah, what was that? Is so that moving, what, on, moving yeah, away from tank controls, what do y'all think? Tank controls? Um, I like mm -hmm. the controls a lot. I just feel like the aiming is annoying. I've seen a lot of people have that red uh, thing that I really enjoy. The red um, thing? The red thing, the yeah. Red like, dot? The red dot to aim. So, so yeah, when you... Well, at least on Le Leon A, when you, you find a key that gets you some access in the sewers. Mm -hmm. So right before you head to the lab, uh, that's why uh, when you talk to Ada in the train, she's like, hey, there's no turning back after this. I made sure I went back and used that key and it uh, uh, basically unlocks a uh, elevator that gets you back into uh, the police yeah. department. And in that room, elevator room, there's like a, a red dot for the Magnum. So it's, I don't know if for oh, the Oh, no, nah, it's, not, it's not for the handgun. The, there's an auto aim, but I don't know if that's the red thing. Because I've seen mm -hmm. a lot oh, of Oh, no, have... auto aim is an option. Like, yeah. that's an option in really? the, in the I never, menu. I never saw auto aim. Or yeah. I think I think that is an, uh, an auto aim shit. And I was like, nah. Because, well, uh, you know, uh -huh. uh, the developers, primarily, the idea was yeah. to make this when you're in gun battles to make it difficult that's the whole point you know it's right, a survival right, horror right. game so i i mean yeah you're right i you know it is difficult to get a name sometimes and to steady your your the aim and the recoil and all that shit but i think that's just what they yeah, intended for you know? me well, for me i enjoyed the the I actually enjoy both control schemes because I mean the original, yes, it was a tank controls, but also it had mm -hmm. the fixed cameras, so it yeah, was kind of a necessity. Yeah, that's true. And that's like true. now they they went away from that and they have like pretty much like it's pretty much like playing uh, Resident Evil Four, but uh, a little bit smoother and, and like in the controls. A little bit and, smoother. That shit's yeah. smooth as fuck. Yeah, I mean I, I like it a lot. I mean I, I thought the change. It just doesn't have no dodge. One. There's huh? no dodge. There's no dodge or quick hits. You know, well, like in, in the there original is a... like timeline thing, like you didn't see the dodges until. Resident Resident Evil 3. That's when you saw the dodges, and that's, that's probably why they didn't put it in Resident Evil 2, the remake. Yeah, to to me, it's like a mixture of R R R E2 story, mm -hmm. R E4 controls, mm -hmm. and R E7's visuals. Oh, so yeah, it's like for sure. 
Oh, to me, it's like the best. It, it just this formula. Speaking of graphics, the best Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. Speaking of graphics, this game is fucking beautiful. It Hands is, down, a beautiful fucking game. Um, I mean, in a in a like, fucked up kind of horror way. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, if if you watch like their expressions when they're hurt, they grimace. They're like, oh, uh, like yeah. it's so badass. Uh, yeah. uh, the gunplay, the way you shoot, the knife. Um, the way zombies look, the way when you shoot them up, uh, arms, limbs, torsos, uh, when the fire, it just yeah. graphically, this game is amazing. Yeah, it's extremely well done. Like that, that RE engine they use for seven is for sure being shown off right here. In yeah, no doubt. Big time. And like, um, <coughs> well, there was also like some talk that I've been hearing, like, uh, like now that now that that uh, RE two remake is out, like, is RE two the original still any good? I'm like, hell yeah, like. That's, yeah. that's where it came from. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. No, but, no, no doubt about that. But yeah, like the controls are so good now. The the graphics look amazing. It's just from like now on, like they have to, they have like, they set a bar for themselves now, especially Capcom. Mm -hmm. Like like now for, well, the next for, three. Evil, for like, three, for the next Resident Evil game they want to do, it's going to be, it either has to be on par or better. Like you can't, you can't oh. go backwards now. But I think right now Capcom is 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 on such a roll that yeah. whatever they decide to do, I'm gonna trust them. No, I feel I'm, like not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do that either because they fucked up Marvel's Capcom. Uh, oh yeah, Ultimate. that was true. bad. That was really bad. Oh, whatever true. it's called, yeah, that was. That's true. But trash. look, now they did RE7. Uh, they just did Monster Hunter. Uh, they're doing. I hear a lot of good things out of DMC5, which but it's still not out. Um, and then RE2, uh, what they did with this. Mm -hmm. I mean. Right now, on me, for me, they're on my good side, man. I feel like okay, whatever no, Resident we'll Evil they decide to do mm -hmm. next, I have, I have, I have trust in. Yeah, you know? well, we'll see. But they have, they have to do three. That's a, I that's mean, a I given. I trust them, but I don't know how much I trust them after they gave the green light to fucking Monster Hunter movie starring Mila oh, Jovovich, whatever. The, the movie killer. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Oh, my God. I don't know. That's true. But well, let's uh, go. Let's go on. But uh, yeah, okay, so. All right, so so like we were saying in the beginning, Leon uh, Leon B and Claire A are the canons. So of course, there's other scenarios. There's Leon A and then Claire B, which basically just flips the roles for them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, I started off with Claire oh, with Leon A, thinking it was the canon one, but it wasn't. So then when I went to Claire A, I was like, damn, this is a little bit harder, but it's also a little bit more fun because it's more like it's more into the story. But um, the other the other scenarios, basically the B scenarios on any of the characters are always going to be a little bit shorter. And like, I like how they cut like kind of like uh, some of the cutscenes. They don't make them mm -hmm. as long as the original ones, like on yeah. Anime. <laughs> they do the abridged versions, like it's Dragon Ball Kai or something. <laughs> and like, I, I I really dig that because like it made it made the game like faster, especially once you already played uh, through one scenario. You're kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. I already know what happens. Please don't fucking like. Go word for yeah, word, yeah, of course, yeah, and, for the next and part. That right there, that right there is why Capcom won with this game, and this why this mm -hmm. game is a candidate for game of the year. Oh, um, for sure, for now, for right now, for right this now, is like number one. There is no top three right now. Because I played Anthem, I played Anthem. Anthem is not close to this. Like, I mean, we played we played the demo and the betas. I mean, but yeah. we haven't gotten the the full full well, fledged game. Well, Resident Evil Two uh, is so good. Um, it is well done. It sticks to what needs to be, like stuck to. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I make it clear. It it, it helps the old school gamers who play them, like I did mm -hmm. Resident Evil Two, and then it, it's also good for new school. You don't have to. Yes, you don't have to have already. played the old one in no, order to play this one. Exactly. And, and this one sticks to the story so well that it doesn't really uh, affect you as much. Right. Uh, so you can just hop on in there. Uh, well done out of the ballpark so much better than what i thought no. uh just amazing overall amazing amazing yeah yeah um last i mean last thing i want to say is i you know i mean some of the of course it's taking a lot from two but um with leon a at least that i played mr x that dread, dread, dreadful figure following you is just like <laughs> always on your mind. You hear his footsteps. X is love gonna it. give it to you. Um, of the latter part of the of the story gets more action uh, oriented, at least in Leon A. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't mind it. Um, seeing that train to go to the laboratory brought back those memories mm -hmm. hey, when you're like, 
<laughs> when you see that train and you're like, oh shit, that I know that shit's taking me to the lavatory. I'm, you know, it just brought back those old memories from RE2 classic. Yeah. Um, the acting was good. Yeah, um, I thought I thought Ada's character was well done too. Yeah, like, she was. Like just her, the, how she is bitch. now. <laughs> hey, did, well, she, did she? She didn't have the trench coat in classic, did she? No, no, she no, no, no. Yeah, that's why. And when I saw her, that she put in, she had the red on. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Oh yes. Ada's the definition of a pussy footer. Oh, oh pussy footy bitch ass. Hey, hey, but in the end, she rescues Leon. Yeah. She <laughs> is. She was like, I we, now we're even. Bitch, fuck you, hoe. You nah, fucking lying, bitch. She rescued him like hey. two or three times in the beginning before. Yeah, three yeah. times. Because she wanted yeah. that. Because she wanted that dick. Anyways, dog. like she wanted that dick. But yeah, after so after you beat uh, all these scenarios, you actually get extra content. You get uh, yes. the I think it's called a hunk survival thing mode, and then you and the get, tofu. And you also get it in tofu mode, and which is so stupid. It's basically you playing as either character, and like you're just trying to run out of the the mansion to to escape. So like, I think you start off with all these weapons and shit, but you get like you basically start off with weapons, ammo, health health items and that's it you don't pick up anything you need to run out of there that's like your whole like purpose your whole goal i thought it was pretty cool i see i haven't played I thought those. That was cool too and like i've seen speed runs where they do it like in 10 yes, minutes or I've 15 seen minutes in, no like, i've seen one in like in, in like seven minutes oh yeah yeah no they're like damage. seven minutes seven or eight minutes, yeah <laughs> yeah but I, I thought that was pretty cool they added that in there because that was also and no the original one, and no one can beat the tofu one because it's just knives. The tofu just has knives. Yeah, the tofu That's one is, it. is a pain in the ass. Yeah, so uh, I wouldn't play that one. Fuck that. So they have that. And then they also, like, it's also too, I, didn't, I really didn't notice it until later on where they actually, you actually unlock, like, um, like, like uh like figurines or whatever like like uh, uh models auto yeah models and artwork of the game i thought that was pretty cool i didn't even notice it until later on and even though it pops up on the screen but i was always just like tapping like to the next menu and like and and also just to close this out um oh shit um we're actually gonna also get some free dlc for this yes, uh, yes. I, 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 hey, hey 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 free dlc free so what we pay yes. for, we get uh, Ghost Survivors. Yeah, it's, so Ghost Survivors Survivors DLC comes out on February 15th. Yes, sir. The day after Valentine's Day, so you guys can celebrate and then go celebrate again on the new nah, DLC. Nah, nah, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and, I'll play that first. Yeah, so that comes out on the 15th, and it's going to be like uh what if uh storylines uh with three different characters from the from the resident evil world uh you're gonna be playing as kendo uh the mayor's the mayor's daughter and this random soldier and basically i i don't think they've confirmed like the length of time i'm not i'm not expecting a lot maybe like four hours or something per character maybe um, even less i think yeah maybe probably less hours because it's three different characters character. yeah you're right yeah but um hopefully when that comes out I, I hope that's also fun as well and they give you more incentives to keep playing the game maybe maybe you unlock something for the main storyline or i don't know uh maybe you you, you can do random shit like well like, there's one thing uh, that i'm very disappointed that they didn't release which mm. which i wish they would have done so mm -hmm. and it made an option was to have the original music on you have to pay for it that's my only complaint oh yeah um, i got that yeah and i bought the deluxe yeah. version yeah that's why but exactly if you don't buy the deluxe yeah. version like, I agree. Like that should have been in the game. I feel bad because tr I'll say this: um, the music will only come on in certain events um, mm -hmm. in the in the in the, the new hallway, game, right? Uh, the, yeah, like yeah. when you're certain places or, or when an enemy's near, you'll see the music. Other other than that, you get like sometimes silence. Uh, with the soundtrack, you're hearing the old school soundtrack, even in in spots where it's like it's silent in the new game mm -hmm. and i don't know i per in the i feel like the classic soundtrack adds that oh, that shit. Shit. like yes and sure mm -hmm. I, I feel it's better but but know, i'm gonna keep uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna keep playing this game this game is just yeah amazing. I, i'm gonna do a bunch of runs I um mean, lowes didn't want to buy it no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> i was I, I i like i said before i wasn't sure if i was gonna have the cash to get it but uh, when it when I started seeing those reviews, I was like, "Yeah, I'll fucking yeah, I'll fucking sell something. I don't care." Because <laughs> uh, Resident no, Evil, hey, oh, go ahead. Real quick, real quick. What was that thing like? What right after the credits, you see that scene real quick of like like some tentacles coming out of the train door. Oh, that's uh William Burke when he transforms. Oh, that's what I'm telling you. Like in Claire you gotta A, be both. You gotta in be Claire both. A, all uh, you see is like 
like Leon getting on the on the car or on the on the train and then you see the tentacles at the very end of the credits but yeah, in, yeah, in yeah, Leon yeah. B you see the you see the what happens afterwards they catch up in the, in the ending and then Leon, oh, okay. Leon okay, okay, or, okay. or Claire goes to fight him <laughs> yeah All well, right, but, but. Uh, yeah but uh, but it's really short dude it's like yeah. mm -hmm. you, you just start shooting him in the eye and that's it like uh, okay. <laughs> well uh, as I'm a big Resident Evil fan I've been a Resident Evil fan since the first time I touched that game mm -hmm. uh in the Haunted Mansion I, I have never stopped putting that control down. I bought every single game. Yes, yeah. I bought Resident Evil Six. I still have it. Yeah, I um, remember that. I, bought, I have, I have, <laughs> I have zero, one, two, and three in GameCube uh, uh, discs. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. This is yeah. my favorite, favorite Resident yeah. Evil. Uh, I hope they do this because we've heard rumors about three. I hope they come out with three. I can't so, wait. Uh, if if you wanted a next one to be done, if you had the choice, you, which one would you want the next one to be remade? Well, I mean, if I had a choice, I mean they're gonna make remake three, but I'd rather they make remake the first one. I feel like they have again. The, well, no, they have this. In my opinion, they have the tools to make it like Resident oh, they're Evil. They're gonna 7. make it way better. If yeah, and they can make it. it way better, and they can expect because the mansion was all constricted. Now they can make bigger. And make it roomier and make storylines and scarier. The and scarier. To me is scarier than the police. Yeah, because the first one, the first Resident Evil, to me, in my opinion, is way scarier than Resident Evil. Too. And it, and it was always uh, like lit. Imagine it dark. Like, yeah. Imagine dark. dark. Oh my god. So for me, for me, they should make one, but they will probably make three. Elias, which one would you choose? For me, they needed to make. They need to continue the storyline. Make eight first. Eight. They, okay. they, they, they that's, can't. They that's can't fair. just. They can't just leave seven like that and then all of a sudden yeah, like go fair. start backwards again. Like, like seven was fucking good. Like they need to continue that. If, eight. Okay. If they don't, then they they're gonna have to go from the beginning from three, four, five, six, seven again. Nah, nah, do. nah. I, because I, if I, they I if they go back and start remaking the other ones, like. You're pretty much saying fuck the seventh one. Like you, you bought them for. It was just a tech demo for. Nah. for the remakes. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, I agree with you, Elias. I, I think I, that you gotta make an eight. They have. To they have to make the eight. No, I think that right now. Okay, if I think they're make, I think someone's working on eight right now. Mm -hmm. I think Capcom's smart enough that someone's working on eight, but for next gen consoles. How much yeah. time? I, how much time we have, yeah, Elias? I mean, we were already yeah. way over. Yeah, so I think they're 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 they were gonna do they're working on an, an eight, but it's gonna be for next gen, mm -hmm. uh, and I think they have another team that's gonna be going to the remake, uh, and I I hope they do Code Veronica. I mean, well, uh, honestly, at this point, it looks like the, any uh, next game is gonna be on next gen. I mean, we're, yeah, all the rumors are that the next gen starts in twenty twenty. So. Yeah, that's true. That's well. True. Let, let me give my rating for this. Yeah, game. go ahead, man. Um, Resident Evil Two, in my opinion, is a ten out of ten. Uh, nine point five out of ten. What? Yeah. <laughs> the reason I gave it a little what? bit of a low score is because I feel like they could have made it longer, and not only that, what? they they didn't put the music. So those are my only two things. <laughs> oh, the, the music. God. The only thing. That's the only thing. But what about that, you, Los? Ten out of ten. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 yeah. out of 10, because not only did I love it, mm -hmm. I, I want to go back for more. And that's like, as my last year's game of the year was uh, Spider Man, that was one of those games that you just go back, you know, and complete a couple of bases because it's just fun. This is one of those games that, yeah, it's fucking terrifying and, and I get anxious playing it, but I want more, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. And. I, I'm gonna go back for more. I'm excited, man. I'm excited for to finish the other scenarios. I'm excited for the DLC. What yeah. do you think, Elias? What do you, what do you rate it? Uh, for me, eight out of ten because they didn't give me two disc. I need a and clear disc. Man, shut your shut your nineties ass up, guys. Shut your nineties ass up. But all right, that's gonna be it for us today. Thank you for go watching buy that game. Go Humpty buy show. that game. Of course, you can also catch the main podcast on Mondays at 6 a.m. Uh, on podcast services all of them spotify anchor anchor and spotify are actually now together they spotify oh. bought them out or something okay, uh, cool. so yeah spotify anchor uh apple podcast uh google podcast uh all the main shows are on the youtube side uh, and of course you can catch us on live streams we try to stream more on twitch.com twitch.tv forward slash the three-way podcast with no spaces and the number three and yeah so thank you and we hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Woo! Peace. Bye -bye.